here with Clarabel Prattle, talking about her new book, True, which really moved and inspired me. I am certain that she will inspire my faithful followers as her message is about making changes and inspiring change. Hi, Clarabel. Hi, Esther. How are you? Good, thank you. So I would like to ask you a few questions about your about your book. Absolutely. I'm ready. Can you please tell my followers on Facebook about yourself? Sure. I'm a, I'm a 42-year-old Puerto Rican businesswoman. Um, I got my MBA from the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, so go blue. I, uh, I worked 12 years in Wall Street and Kellogg's in different financial and marketing positions. And then after my corporate experience, I, um, I became a, a successful entrepreneur, and which allowed me to homeschool my children for four years. And currently, I own a, an eBay business, and I manage my own investment portfolio. Wonderful. And what is your book about? True is, is a story of a 41-year-old Puerto Rican woman named True, who after 12 years of a dysfunctional marriage and a breast cancer scare, decides to take control of her life and embark on a freedom journey to... Uh, to free herself from her controlling husband. Through this, through this character, uh, we see the details of her uh, marriage collapse. We also see what she does through the divorce process. And finally, we see her fresh new start in life, um, where at the end of the day, uh, we witness how hope, faith, and love guide her in defining her personal philosophy in life. What inspired you to write this book? My own story. Uh, on December 2014, uh, I filed for divorce after 12 years of uh, dysfunctional marriage. And to deal with the emotional pain, I started working on True. It was basically my coping mechanism in a thriving time in my life. And through this book, I would like to inspire other women that are in unhealthy relationship to start their own freedom journey so that they too can have a fresh new start in life. Awesome. And how long did it take you to write and edit and finally get this book published? The entire book from the writing to the editing to getting a publishing contract and finally publishing, it took 12 months. And what, and what they say is right, the, the longest part of Writing is it's not the writing part, it's actually the editing part. I am I edit until last week, <laughs> which went which was when I sent the, the book to um to be uh to be published. So the final proof was sent out last week. Wow. Now is this fictional story based on some truth? Well, I'll give you the legal answer. It's a fictional story. However, um I am Puerto Rican, so as you know, I have Spanish background. I'd like to quote one of my favorite Spanish painters, Pablo Picasso. He said that art is the lie that enables us to realize the truth. So I'll leave it at that. Very good. And why did you select the names True and Blue for the main characters of your book? As you know, the book is narrated by True. Uh, she is the main character. The name came from the first three letters of the words that I value the most. Trust, the truth, and being true to who you are. I wanted the names of the two main characters to stand out and be playful. The other main character is Blue, which refers to her blue eyes being blue because she's this character is, all, is most of the time melancholic in the book. And it's also the first three letters of the word blueprint. And for as I was writing this book, blue is the blueprint to true soul. The remaining characters have common household names, and it was delivered to denote the two most important characters on the freedom journey and the fresh new start. Now, did you delete any chapters, or did you write any chapters that aren't being published? 
I did had, um, I sent, actually, let me backtrack. I sent the book to copyright to the Library of Congress. And after I sent the book, as any author would say, you know, you kind of go back and look at the book again. And I realized that I never discussed what True was looking for in love and what she stands for. And so I threw out three, the kind of three chapters of the book. And instead, I wrote my personal favorite three chapters of the book, uh, which are Blue's Garage, True Personal Brand, and Broken Trust. I also rewrote chapter 16 of the book to allow for the ending that I thought the book deserved. Now, is there going to be a sequel? Yes, I, um, I just sent to copyright uh, in April my second book which is which is as you just asked a sequel to true and it's kind of true's next chapter in life it picks up right after chapter 16 and this was based on kind of feedback that i got from the re from the re early reviewers of the book awesome and what is your vision for true the vision for true and as well as my blog, which is trueclaribelprado.wordpress.com, is to transform the world one heart at a time with a message of hope, faith, and love. And in, in my mind, if one life can breathe easier because of this book, I succeeded. Well, you certainly have done that for me, um, and I truly wish you much, much success and encourage everyone to go buy this book. You will not be disappointed. Clarabelle, I want to thank you again for taking time um, to answer my questions, and um, I wish you much success. Thank you, Esther, and I just want to say that I'm a follower of, of your page in Facebook and, and I I am a believer that um, that we de do need daily affirmations in our lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.